Bonjour la classe! Okay, today I thought we'd have a go at a spoken presentation. So we're going to carry on with um, describing your region. Décrire ma région. You've done a little bit of places in town and directions and you've done uh, geographical features like um, hills, lakes, rivers, that sort of thing. Now we're going to put it all together. So here's a map of France. Uh, nous avons cinq régions. Uh, nous avons la Bretagne. La Bretagne is uh, Brittany. La Normandie, l'Alsace, l'Aquitaine and la Provence. So you've got five regions. Now if you were going to describe your region, what information might you give? You may, for example, talk about what there is in your region and maybe what you can do in your region. So we're going to use these two questions. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a dans ta région? What is there in your region? And qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire dans ta région? What can you do in your region? What can one do in your region? Let's start with the first one. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a dans ta région? So this word, at the, this beginning of this phrase, qu'est-ce que? Qu'est-ce que is how we're going to say what. It literally means what is it that there is? What is it that there is in your region? Uh, but we're going to shorten that to what is there in your region. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a dans ta région? And you're going to answer it with il y a. There is or there are. Il y a, uh, let's say, um, a beach or some beaches. Il y a une plage, des plages. So in English you can leave out the some, there are beaches. But in French you need to include it in there. So il y a une plage. There is a beach. Il y a des plages. There are some beaches. How about some fields? Can you remember the word for field? How would you say there are some fields? Il y a des champs. Il y a des champs. Il y a, um, there are some fields. Okay, we've got a load of other ideas here. Now, the advantage of this being a video is you could pause whenever you want and copy down any vocab you're not sure of. You're going to need it later on for exercises, so it is better to stop the video and write down the vocab so that you've got it all together in a list and it's easy to refer to. And you can also go back, listen again uh, for pronunciation. Try and use this to practice, okay? So, lots of ideas there. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a dans ta région? Il y a des champs. Il y a des rivières. Some rivers. Il y a un lac. There is a lake. Some examples for you. So, that was what is there in your region. Let's have a look now at what can you do. Qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire dans ta région? So there we've got that word, for, that phrase for what again. Qu'est-ce que? What is it that? On peut is literally one can. We, we would often say, what can you do in your region? But uh, here we've got, qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire dans ta région? What can one do in your region? Obviously we swap that question round in English. One can, can one. Qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire dans ta région? On peut. One can. Uh, and then we're going to have lots of different activities. On peut faire de la voile. On peut faire de la voile. You can do sailing. How about walks or hiking? Can you remember the word for to go hiking, to go for walks? On peut faire des randonnées. On peut faire des randonnées. You can literally do walks. Okay, here's a list of other activities um, which you can copy down if you're not sure about them. On peut faire du surf. On peut faire du vélo. 
On peut faire de la planche à voile. Dans ma région, on peut faire de l'équitation. Dans ma région, on peut visiter des villes historiques. Right, just looking at the one cycling again, on peut faire du vélo. So you can do cycling. You can also add that on to des randonnées that we had earlier to do walks. So you can sort of go for a, a hike on your bicycle. Faire des randonnées, like that, is going to be on your feet to go hiking. If you add à vélo, on peut faire des randonnées à vélo, means you can go for cycle rides. You could also do à cheval, to go on by, uh, by horse, so to go for horse rides. On peut faire des randonnées à cheval. You can go for horse rides. But here we've got faire des randonnées, which is hiking, and faire des randonnées à vélo, which would be to go for cycle rides. So you can say either of those, randonnée à vélo or faire du vélo. You can go for cycle rides or you can go cycling. Right, what else have we got? On peut visiter des musées. You can visit museums. Or on peut visiter des sites touristiques. You can visit tourist sites. Whole load of ideas then for things you can say about your region. Right, let's have a look at an example here. This is a, a forum and the purple blocks of writing are for Enzo. Okay, he's written into a forum asking for some advice. And Yasmin, Thomas and Chloe have uh, sent some replies. So Enzo says, Au secours, which means help. Au secours, mes parents viennent de me dire qu'on va déménager dans l'ouest de la France, en Bretagne. Je ne veux pas y aller. Qu'est-ce que je peux faire? So, what's Enzo's problem? He says, Mes parents viennent de me dire qu'on va déménager dans l'ouest de la France. So, if you look down in the bottom right, you've got that uh, blue vocab box. Déménager means to move, to move house, to move home. So, mes parents viennent de me dire. Do you remember that construction there, the viennent de? It comes from the verb venir, to come. Je viens de, followed by an infinitive. Does it ring any bells? Venir de means to have just. So, je viens de manger, I have just eaten. Here, we've got mes parents viennent de me dire. So, my parents have just told me. Okay? Mes parents viennent de me dire, my parents have just told me, qu'on va déménager dans l'ouest de la France, that we are going to move to the west of France, en Bretagne, to Brittany. Je ne veux pas y aller. I don't want to go there. Qu'est-ce que je peux faire? What can I do? So, Yasmin and Toma and Chloe are going to come back with some suggestions. Yasmin says, Ne t'en fais pas, which is a phrase meaning, don't worry, don't worry yourself about it. Ne t'en fais pas, je connais bien le Bretagne. On y va tous les ans en vacances. Tu vas adorer. Il y a plein de belles plages et de jolis ports de pêche sur la côte. So, je connais bien le Bretagne. I know well the Brittany. I know Brittany well. On y va tous les ans en vacances. Tous les ans, that's all the years, every year. On y va, so that's one goes there. We would translate that to, we go there. We go there every year en vacances, on holiday. Tu vas adorer. What tense is that? Tu vas adorer. You've got your two form of aller. 
tu vas, you are going, adorer, the in infinitive with that er on the end, to adore. So you are going to love it. You're going to adore it. Il y a plein de belles plages et de jolies portes de pêche sur la côte. Il y a plein de. Plein de is a good alternative to beaucoup de. Beaucoup de, lots of. Plein de, plenty of, loads of. So there are loads of beautiful beaches and jolly, uh, jolly, uh, pretty fishing ports on the coast. Thomas then comes in with Yasmine a raison. So that literally is Yasmine has reason. Yasmine is right. That's how you say someone is right. Yasmine a raison. Tu peux y faire de la voile, de la planche à voile. Tu peux même apprendre à faire du ski nautique. C'est cool. So Yasmine is right. Tu peux y faire de la voile. Tu, you can there do sailing, de la voile, sailing, de la planche à voile, windsurfing. Tu peux même apprendre à faire du ski nautique. You can even learn to do water skiing. C'est cool. It's cool. Okay, Chloe. À part la mer, il y a la campagne. Le paysage est magnifique. Des champs, des fermes, des forêts. On peut y faire des randonnées à vélo. À part la mer, apart from the sea, il y a la campagne. There is the countryside. Le paysage est magnifique. The, the countryside is magnificent. Des champs, des fermes, des forêts. Fields, farms, forests. On peut y faire des randonnées à vélo. One can there do uh, bike rides. So you can go for bike rides there. Okay, Enzo comes back with Oui, oui, je sais, mais les sports nautiques, ce n'est pas tellement mon truc. Fais des randonnées non plus. Oui, oui, je sais, yes, yes, I know. But uh, les sports nautiques, water sports, ce n'est pas tellement mon truc. Okay, look down in that little vocab box in the bottom right. Pas tellement mon truc. It's not really my thing. It's a really useful phrase when you're talking about anything. C'est pas tellement mon truc. I don't really like it. I'm not into it. You can use it for talking about music, films, um, food, uh, hobbies, holidays, anything like that. Instead of saying, je n'aime pas, you can say, c'est pas tellement mon truc. It's not really my type of thing. C'est pas tellement mon truc. Faire des randonnées non plus. Going hiking, neither. Not that either. Non plus, not either. Ok, Thomas says. Tu es allé voir des matchs? Les Bretons sont fans de foot. Ils ont trois équipes en Ligue 1. Le FC Lorient, le Stade René et le UA Guincan. So Thomas says, do you like going to see matches? The Bretons, that's the people from Brittany, sont fans de foot, they're fans of football. Ils ont trois équipes en Ligue 1. They've got three teams in the Premier League, League 1. And there are the names of the three teams. Chloe. Il y a également un festival de musique, la route du Roc, à Saint-Malo, en août. J'y suis allée l'année dernière. C'était génial. So she says, il y a également. There is also un festival de musique, a music festival. La route du Roc, the Rock Road, Rock Route. It's in Saint Malo in August. J'y suis allé l'année dernière. What tense is that? Past tense. L'année dernière. Last year. J'y suis allé. I went there last year. C'était génial. It was great. And lastly, Yasmine. 
En plus, tu connais la chanteuse Nolwenn Leroy Elle est née en Bretagne. So, en plus, um, what is more, also, tu connais la chanteuse. Do you know the singer Nolwenn Leroy? Elle est née en Bretagne. She was born in Brittany. So, to round it off, Enzo says, Hmm, les plages, les matchs de foot, un festival de rock, peut-être que la Bretagne ne va pas être si nulle que ça. So, the beaches, the football matches, a rock festival, maybe Brittany isn't going to be so rubbish as that. So, he's come round to the news. Sounds pretty good. Okay, so we've been through all the texts. Your task now is to check back through them again, read through them yourself, and try to put the photos on the right into order. So let's start just as an example. I think it starts with Yasmine, the first of Yasmine's comments. She says, Ne t'en fais pas, je connais bien le Bretagne, on y va tu les ans en vacances, tu vas adorer. Il y a plein de belles plages et de jolis ports de pêche sur la côte. Look at the photos. Uh, plein de belles plages. Lots of beautiful beaches. So that'll be C. So picture C is the first one to be mentioned. So move on then to Thomas and then Chloe and see if you can put those six photos into order. You can just pause the video until you finish. Do it at your own speed, read through them, really try and understand some of that vocab. Um, it will be useful for you later on. Pause the video, put the pictures in order, note down your answers, and then we'll go through it together. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at that. So C was the first one. The next one, Thomas said, on peut faire de la voile, de la planche à voile. You can do sailing and windsurfing. So that was D. The next one, Chloe said, On peut faire des randonnées à vélo. You can go for cycle rides. A. So we got C, D, A. Next, Thomas said about le foot, les matchs de foot, football matches. So that was F. Then Chloe said about uh, le festival de musique, that would be E. And then last of all, we've had Nolwen Leroy, the singer. So I'm guessing she's B. So we had C, D, A, F, E, B. Hope you got those pretty easily. Right, next thing you're going to do is reading through it and see if you can get this information. So the name of the region, Bretagne, Bretagne is Brittany. The location, c'est dans l'ouest de la France, in the west of France. So you're going to fill in geographical features, outdoor activities, etc. You might want to copy that table into your book or the headings into your book and note them down. To give you a hand, I've noted down who has said each one. So geographical features was is mentioned by Yas, Yasmin and Chloe. Outdoor activities is mentioned by Toma and Chloe. Popular sport was Toma. Cultural activities, Chloe. And the celebrity was Yasmin. So have a look at what they've said. See how much information you can find in the text. Again, pause the video, do it at your own, piece, at your own pace, and then we'll go through the answers together. Right, let's see, how did you get on? Here are your answers. Um, you might want to pause and mark them. The only one I would say, the outdoor activities, they mention hiking and cycling. Well, the only one I could find there was des randonnées à vélo, which is cycle rides. I couldn't find des randonnées on their own, just going hiking. Um, so if you've missed that one out, I wouldn't worry about that, as long as you've got the cycling in. But the rest of it's pretty good. Check your answers and then move on. So the next thing we're going to do is listen to someone talking about their region. Before we do that, I just wanted to check how comfortable you are with talking about points on the compass. So you've got le nord, l'est, 
le sud and l'ouest. Horrible one to spell that one, l'ouest. All right, and then you've got the ones in the middle. Just like English, you just link them together. Le nord-est, le sud-est, le sud-ouest, and le nord-est. So to put it into a sentence, you're going to say, Ma région, c'est dans my region, it's in. And then you're just going to use your compass point. So where are we? Ma région, c'est dans le sud-ouest de l'Angleterre. Ma région, c'est dans le sud-ouest de l'Angleterre. Just like that. Right, we're going to use this table again. So note down the titles, name of region, location, geographical features, and you're going to listen to someone describing their region of Alsace. So we're listening to Manon, who is describing the region where she lives, which, uh, to give you a little clue, is called Alsace. So the region of Alsace. Okay, we're doing exercise three down now, down here. So let's listen. Complete la fiche. Fill in the table. Page 78. Exercice 3. Écoutez Manon qui décrit la région de l'Alsace. Complétez la fiche de l'exercice 2 en anglais. Okay, so fill out the table in English. The name of the region is Alsace. Let's go. Une région que je connais bien, c'est l'Alsace, dans le nord-est de la France. J'y habite depuis 12 ans. J'adore les paysages en Alsace. On y trouve des montagnes, des forêts, des champs. C'est très très beau. En été, on peut faire du cyclisme ou de l'équitation. Il y a beaucoup de pistes cyclables et de pistes équestres. Si tu es courageux, tu peux aussi faire de l'escalade. Mais les sports les plus populaires sont les sports d'hiver. L'Alsace est la région idéale pour le ski. Pour ceux qui n'aiment pas le sport, il y a plein d'activités culturelles. Par exemple, on peut visiter de beaux châteaux tels que le château du Haut-Königsbourg. Il est vraiment impressionnant. Il y a une personne célèbre qui vient d'Alsace et que vous devez connaître. C'est l'entraîneur de foot Arsène Wenger, qui est né à Strasbourg. Ok, so... A lot of information there, too much for you to write down, but then hopefully you can just pause and play it at a speed that works for you and you can replay, do it your, your own way. But let's just go through it together again and I will pause and we'll check what you've got. 78. Écoutez Manon qui décrit la région de l'Alsace. Complétez la fiche de l'exercice 2 en anglais. Une région que je connais bien, c'est l'Alsace, dans le nord-est de la France. Ok, so it's dans le nord-est, nord-est de la France. Little clue up here, is the, the map is up here. Uh, you can see Alsace over here, the uh, yellow one. So dans le nord-est de la France. J'y habite depuis 12 ans. J'adore les paysages en Alsace. J'adore le paysage. I love the countryside. On y trouve des montagnes, des... On y trouve... Pardon, let me go back a bit. You find des montagnes. Des montagnes, des forêts. Des forêts. Des champs. Des champs. C'est très très beau. En été, on peut faire du cyclisme. So we're on to outdoor activities now. En été, on peut faire du cyclisme. Cyclisme, another word for vélo. On peut faire du vélo. On peut faire du cyclisme. Ou de l'équitation. Ou de l'équitation. Il y a beaucoup de pistes cyclables et de pistes équestres. 
Bon, il y a beaucoup de pistes. So a piste is a, a route, a path. So beaucoup de pistes cyclables. Um, so cycle routes or horse riding routes. Si tu es courageux, tu peux aussi faire de l'escalade. Tu peux faire de l'escalade. De l'escalade. Mais les sports les plus populaires sont les sports d'hiver. Les sports d'hiver. D'hiver. What's l'hiver? It's a season of the year. L'hiver. Les sports d'hiver. L'Alsace est la région idéale pour le ski. C'est la région idéale pour le ski. Pour ceux qui n'aiment pas le sport, il y a plein d'activités culturelles. So we're on to les activités culturelles, cultural activities. Par exemple, on peut visiter de beaux châteaux tels que le château du haut Königsbourg. Ok, so il y a des beaux châteaux. Il est vraiment impressionnant. Il y a une personne célèbre. Qui... Une personne célèbre. So a famous person. Une personne célèbre. Qui vient d'Alsace et que vous devez connaître. C'est l'entraîneur de foot Arsène Wenger qui est né à Strasbourg. Ok, so Arsène Wenger est né à Strasbourg. Il est born in Strasbourg. Bon, ça y est. Uh, let's have a look then at the answers. Um, mark your answers in your book, please, in red pen. How did we get on then? Let's bring up the answers. So, name a region Alsace. Location was le nord-est, the northeast. And uh, geographical features, mountains, forests, fields. There was cycling, horse riding and climbing. L'escalade was climbing. Most popular sport, les sports d'hiver. Hiver, winter. Les sports d'hiver, on peut faire le ski. On peut, faire, on peut faire du ski. You can do skiing. Cultural activities, visiter des châteaux. Visit castles. And the uh, person célèbre, the famous person was Arsène Wenger. Good, I hope you got on okay with that. The good thing about the video is you can go back, listen again, see if you can hear those answers. If you didn't hear them the first time, you can do as much practice as you want on this. Right, that's it for today. I'm just going to explain your independent work that you're going to do after this, or whenever whenever suits you. But I've got a uh, there's a attachment along with this on show my homework with a reading exercise about La Provence, another region of France. You'll see underneath there are eight English sentences. You've got to read the text and you've got to work out which of those eight English sentences is true. There are four true and four false. For the false ones, you then need to write a correction. So, for example, the first one. The climate in Provence is not good. So we look at the text above. La Provence est une région exceptionnelle sur la plan touristique. Provence is an exceptional region on the tourist map. Un climat superbe. A superb climate. There we go. There's your answer to number one. The climate in Provence is not good. So that is false. The answer is, the climate in Provence is superb. So that's all you've got to do. Find the four that are false and correct them. Um, and the other four will be true. So you've got that to do. And then there are five sentences to translate about my region. And then next week, we'll try and do something similar to build on this. Okay, good luck. If you have any questions, just drop me a comment in Show My Homework. All right, good luck, bonne chance et au revoir.